what's going on everybody i'm back again with another vlog and today i'm going to be walking queens boulevard i'm starting here in the forest hill section and i'm going to go all the way down i don't know where i'm going to end but this is a pretty interesting boulevard because it crosses from long island city midtown manhattan all the way here to queens and it's about seven miles long so this is probably half half the way through but it's a pretty beautiful residential area over here you can see like a lot of high-rise buildings a lot of apartment complex and it crosses many neighborhoods in queens like elmhurst and if i walk forward you're gonna see a mall and all of that so i'm gonna walk as far as i can and show you guys this amazing boulevard so join me so so far you can hear the new york sounds but then you can see how they develop condos over here and a nice quiet park over here right next to the highway and then another thing about this boulevard is that i got like a bike lane so you can bike all the way around and you can see all the apartment complex going on over there but yeah let's start this walk so over here you can start seeing traffic jams and some high-rise apartment buildings like i say mostly over this section over here there's a lot of residential area a lot of apartment complex so people from different backgrounds they live around here different nationalities but yeah give you a little free sister view of what's going on and then over that way to my right hand there's like a few businesses you know pretty much all shops restaurants and stuff but this is not even a little portion of what i'm trying to walk so but yeah you can see it kind of reminds me a little bit of co-op city in the bronx with the tall buildings this is actually they got a name right there uh Parker Towers, Parker, yeah. Pretty nice, the entrance is beautiful. Beautiful flowers, everything. Beautiful complex too. And I'm really a fan of high-rise buildings. Must be nice to live here with a nice balcony and a view. Nice view, you know. I gotta say one of these days I'm gonna bring my bicycle and just ride around here because I think it's pretty fun and I think it's pretty much a good workout and it helps even more that it got like a bike lane so yeah you can see right there the green bike lane not sure how far it goes and then you see that the beautiful apartment complex nets you know then if you go to my right hand a lot of businesses happening over here and this is pretty typical in a lot of neighborhoods around New York City all, all over the borough so even here you can see this all like an apartment complex but in the first floor you got like a barber shop I think a uh, video area hair salon so yeah the yeah, one thing about Queens Boulevard is served by a couple of subway lines like right here take the M and the R train I took the express on the uh, E train and a few shops happening around here yeah, let me give you a free sister view and at the same time, I gotta say, it feels good to be back in Queens. It's been a minute since I've been here, but it's one of my favorite bars in New York City, and I love filming around different neighborhoods. They got like a bakery over here, it looks pretty cool. And they got a few restaurants here, so like a food and vegetable market. Pretty nice. And of course, the subway stop. And like I got through in many of my videos when I do, especially like street walks, I make a little detour over here to see to show you guys how the residential area looks like and so far you know it's pretty cool with all the trees let's look at all these houses over here apartment complex i really love the fact how they got like a lot of trees and stuff over here it must be beautiful like in the fall season the apartment complex are beautiful like i said queens is really you know known for having a lot of residential areas so i think this is really nice this is 67 avenue so pretty nice and ahead of me i'm approaching another cool area i think it's kind of like the borderline of regal park where they got all the malls and stuff but you can start seeing like everything going on around here it, get, it starts getting a little bit more this year a lot of stores you know everything this is actually a, a huge supermarket but then you can see like a development going on so there are like a few couple of malls around here the queen center mall and the Regal Park Shopping Center, see pharmacy, realty, real estate. The shops also are on the other side of the road. There's another subway line over here. Mattress firm. 
then the 63 Drive Regal Park subway station over here. A little over this side. Across the street, there's a Marshalls with this uh, pretty big chain in the United States. They sell a little bit of everything, mostly clothes. And this supermarket smells good. I really love the uh, smell of the fresh fruit. Dollar Bazaar is pretty much, pretty much like a dollar store. So you can see there's a lot happening over here. A lot, unless it's a pretty good brand in New York City, they sell like a lot of good stuff for a reasonable, for a really cheap price. So you get like a little bit of everything. This one's pretty big compared to the ones I see in Manhattan. And there's more apartments on the other side, more happening. And this is like an empanada spot, I believe. It's actually a Russian uh, restaurant. And it's crazy, it's like every little center in Queens has its own downtown and its own thing going on. Like I see around here, every block I walk, there's something pretty interesting to look at. So ahead of me, you see a bridge, and it's actually the Long Island Expressway or four. 95 which it goes all the way to Long Island at the end and then it goes also to Manhattan and at the same time you can pass the Queens Midtown Tunnel which connects our Queens all the way to Manhattan so I'm about to go under the bridge right now and then on the other side it gets pretty interesting because that's where I see the Queens Center Mall so it's gonna be fun so here I am again I don't know how many videos I made where I cross under a huge bridge the ground is not pretty nice because a lot of birds are flying around. You're going to see a lot of birds dropping, so I got to make sure I don't get <laughs> by a bird. <laughs> you see them all there. I guess the people, they feed them or something. And then where you start seeing, too bad this thing cannot zoom, where you start seeing Jay-Z, Penny, and Macy's right there. And that's one of the main malls around here in Queens and New York City too. Queens Center Mall. It's only like a couple of malls around New York City. They got the Bay Plaza and Co-op City Bronx. They got the Staten Island Mall, Queen Center Mall. I'm trying to figure out where the malls they have around, but yeah, pretty much about it. So actually now I'm approaching another neighborhood in Queens. Uh, Elmhurst, you know, so like I say, this highway passes like a lot of nice neighborhoods. This is still like another mall over here, then you see like a new apartment complex and a few shops over here. So, Elmhurst, if you go around Broadway, you're gonna see like a lot of Asian spots. So it's like another China, Chinatown in New York City, and then you keep going a little further in the borders with Jackson Heights, one of my favorite neighborhoods and one of the most diverse places in the whole world here in Queens. And then, as I'm walking around here, I discover a nice church, like a beautiful structure. Just sitting up in a hill and then there's another subway stop the grand avenue pass over here like this highway goes this highway goes all over the m and the r train line and then you see like a lot of apartments over there that's uh elmhurst and then i start seeing some markets ahead of me then if you make a turn it's just a regular residential area with houses and stuff so but yeah elmhurst right here then there's the street market and I really love like they you know the street market with all the fruits and stuff especially the smell of the fruits is pretty nice and Grand Avenue ahead of me but uh bus stop and this over here is Broadway we see all those apartments so you make a turn over there you're gonna pass a lot of restaurants a lot of stores and then you're gonna end up and Jackson Heights by 74th Street and there's like a lot of subway lines over there. So, so far I'm between neighborhoods and over this area there's not much going on. A lot of dealerships, you know. Yeah, like a lot of body parts, cars, there's like a bridge over there. I can even see Manhattan skyline over there. I still got like, I still got like a long way to go, but I'm gonna try to make it. <laughs> I'm a little hungry already, but yeah. I noticed I've been walking a lot already, like a fair amount. And I still got a long way to go. I figured it would be much better if I would have brought my bike and made a 
bike vlog but maybe i'll just turn back if you guys want to see that i'll probably just turn back and film again with my bike so let me know that's something you guys want to see and it looks like little by little they're trying to develop the area a little bit because as i'm walking ahead of me i can start seeing like some new apartment complex building over here right by this dealership pretty beautiful building and across the street there's another nice building with a few i don't know business there i see the long island railroad crossing by it's like a house over here too so this is actually 70th street this building is called a j j and j tower but it's beautiful here i am crossing another major highway a lot of traffic jam over here which uh, like i say i always explain the reason why i don't like driving in new york city but it's always good to take a look at it you know and this is still queens boulevard so it is fairly a uh, pretty big uh road you know so one pretty interesting fact is LaGuardia Airport is not too far from here, it's all the way to my right hand and I know it because the airplanes are flying like pretty low there was one that flew like pretty low, I was gonna film it but I, by the time I tried to turn on my camera it was gone but yeah I'm passing a cemetery to my left side and then once I pass this area over here I'm gonna start entering the borderline of Sunnyside neighborhood in Queens pretty nice neighborhood you know some nice restaurants over there Last time when I went, there was a nice spot that I ate over there, really good food and pretty cheap. There's another airplane, look. I was able to catch that one, but the other one was flying a little bit lower, so. But yeah, this is a really good workout today. The weather is not hot, it's just perfect, but with all this walking that I'm doing, I'm already sweating a little bit, but I don't mind, because this is something that I love doing, you know, exploring. There goes another airplane to land in LaGuardia Airport. And to be honest, like if you're gonna land in LaGuardia Airport, it really has some pretty nice views when it flies over New York City. I think it got like better views than when you fly in JFK, so LaGuardia and Newark and Liberty International Airport. You know, it depends which where the route goes, but yeah, it used to get like a really good view and it flies over Manhattan and by the uh, city field baseball stadium so yeah but so far you can start seeing long island city over there and then a couple of apartment complex over here some hotels around still got a long way to go so this is officially sunnyside 50th street right here and the seven train line passes over there it crosses by so i gotta explore more of this street queens boulevard I'm probably gonna see some more interesting fiends ahead of me, so let's check it out. So this is sunny side over here, and this is served by the seven train line right here. And then you're gonna see like a lot of different kind of mix of restaurants over here that is pretty diverse. Pretty cool neighborhood, you know, it's not extremely big, but it's a nice neighborhood. Here you see like a supermarket, a small shop ahead of me. And the street is called Luke Adams, so 46th Street right here. I'm about to cross it, and we've got the main line here, Sun Side. So. so pretty beautiful, and it goes all the way to the end. As you can see, the highway keeps going, the boulevard. Let me give you like a 360 view and there's a parking under the train station But yeah Beautiful street art over here and then Center size a lot of residential areas over here But little by little I'm approaching Long Island City, Queens So I did a long walk You can see the contrast how the neighborhood changes When you keep walking you know block by block Residential then here is pretty much like industrial but then ahead of me is like a lot of skyscrapers So I'm here I gotta make a turn to the right hand And that's the highway that goes all the way to Manhattan It's a little bit noisy You can see the contrast over here And the bridge So yeah let's do it So now I'm gonna cross some train tracks And this is what divides like the difference of a neighborhood You see a regular neighborhood like this but then The train tracks are right here and then All this development going on Back in the days this was not here you know they just pop up all those buildings and it looks like an extension of the downtown Manhattan because if you go in downtown Brooklyn also there's a lot of buildings going on so 
downtown Jersey City too, <laughs> which is surrounds Manhattan. You can see a lot of high-rise buildings popping up. I'm a little bit scared because I'm in, in a hike, but I'm gonna cross this bridge, walk a little bit more, and then I'll figure out where can I aim my block. But I, I didn't thought I was gonna make it, but I made it all the way from Forest Hills to Long Island City, Queens. So I don't know how many miles is that, but that's a pretty long walk. <laughs> Meanwhile, I like how to keep the arts over here. Yeah, you can get a better view of the tracks. Right now, not much, not much is going on. But pretty interesting. That's actually the Long Island Railroad. From Penn Station all the way to Long Island. Not sure which line is that, but you can take many train lines. It goes, you know, different parts of New York. I'm in Queens Plaza. You can see how different it is over here. All the skyscrapers use the subway train, the subway station line right here. A few subway lines passes over here. There goes one. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. It's a pretty interesting area over here, you know. It's crazy how they develop a lot of buildings over here. So far, I gotta say, I like this area over here. It looks pretty cool. The way all this crosses with the subway line and everything. The glass of the buildings is beautiful. Modern architecture right here. As you can see, uh, Queens is pretty diverse and has a little bit of everything. So that was the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me walking all the way by Queens Boulevard. So stay tuned for more. Be safe out there, everybody. God bless y'all and peace. <laughs>